today we are going to start the transformation named as the linear transformation and linear transformation is of the type w is equal to alpha z plus beta where alpha and beta are the complex constants right it can be noticed over here that this transformation is the resultant of magnification rotation and translation so to obtain the desired transformation we first magnify the region in the z plane by the factor just take the mod of this alpha so we have to magnify the region in the z plane by the factor mod alpha and then rotate the region so obtained through an angle argument of this alpha so argument of alpha and third translate the region parallel to vector beta this yes through a distance mod of beta right so this is how the transformation takes place this is the region in the z plane and then it is magnified and then it is rotated and then it is translated. So this is the linear transformation W equal to alpha Z plus beta where these alpha and beta are the complex constants. So let's consider an example. Consider the transformation W equal to 1 plus iota Z plus 2 minus iota and determine the region in the W plane into which the rectangular region bounded by the lines x equal to 0, y equal to 0, x equal to 1, y equal to 2 in the z plane is mapped under this transformation. So these are the bounded lines that are given to us for the rectangular region in the z plane and we have to determine the region in the w plane by using this transformation. So the given transformation is W equal to 1 plus iota into Z plus 2 minus iota. If you compare this transformation with the general transformation that is W equal to alpha Z plus beta, then you will notice that here alpha is given to be as 1 plus iota and beta is given to be as 2 minus iota. We will see in the W plane that the resultant region is magnified by factor this mod of alpha that is mod of 1 plus iota and it is translated by the factor mod of beta that is mod of 2 minus iota. So we will see this at the end of the result. Okay, how to start with this? Just put the value of W as u plus iota v and that is equal to 1 plus iota into putting z as x plus iota y plus 2 minus iota. When you solve this just simplify the right hand side. So when you simplify this right hand side we collect all the real parts and imaginary parts separately that will give you x minus y plus 2 as the real part plus iota x plus y minus 1 as the imaginary part and from here we get u as x minus y plus 2 and v as x plus y minus 1. So we get the u as x minus y plus 2 and v is equal to x plus y minus 1 right okay now first bounded line that is given to us is x equal to 0 so for that just put the value of x equal to 0 in u we get minus y plus 2 and then putting the value of x equal to 0 in v we get y minus 1 and when we solve these two together u and v we get the equation in terms of u and v that is u plus v is equal to 1 and then second 
for y equal to 0, we get u as x plus 2 and v as x minus 1. And when you solve these two, you get the equation in u and v that is u minus v is equal to 3. And then for x equal to 1, we get u to be equal to, this is negative y plus 3. And v is equal to, this will cancelled out, so we get only as y. So this is... When you solve these two equations, you get the equation as u plus v is equal to 3. You just have to put the values of v in u to get this resultant equation. And then for y is equal to 2, we get u to be as this 2 will cancel out with this negative 2. We get u to be as x. And v is equal to, this is 2 minus 1, that is x plus 1. So, on solving this, we get the equation as v minus u is equal to 1, right? Okay, so now let's plot these points and the resultant equations. Okay, so what are the bounded lines that is given to us? We are having x equal to 0, y equal to 0, x equal to 1 and y equal to 2. So, this line is x equal to 0. And this is y is equal to 0. This is your z-plane. And this is x equal to 1. And this is 1. This is 2 unit. So this is y is equal to 2. So the given region is rectangular region. Now in the w-plane, x equal to 0 is mapped into u plus v is equal to 1. Let's plot this line. This is 1 unit. This is 1 unit. So u plus v is equal to 1 is this line. Right? And then for y is equal to 0, this is mapped into u minus v is equal to 3. So if I put v equal to 0, I get u equal to 3. And if I put u equal to 0, I get v equal to negative 3. So for u equal to 0, I get v equal to negative 3 this point. And if I put v equal to 0, I get u equal to 3 this point. Let's join these together. So this is your line u minus v is equal to 3. And this is u plus v is equal to 1. And then for x equal to 1, I get u plus v is equal to 3. That is, if I put u equal to 0, I get v as 3. And if I put v equal to 0, I get u as 3. So the points are 0, 3, the same point, And 3, 0, this point. So this is u plus v is equal to 3. And then at last, y equal to 2 is mapped into v minus u equal to 1. Putting u equal to 0, I get v is equal to 1. So this point. And then putting uh, v equal to 0, I get u equal to negative 1. So u as negative 1, which means this point. So let's join these. And also extending this, so this is v minus u is equal to 1. And let me also extend this line. So I get this new rectangular region in the w plane that is transformed from the given rectangular region in the z plane. So if you notice over here, this new region, this new rectangular region is magnified by the factor mod alpha that is mod of 1 plus iota and it is also rotated through some angle that is the argument of alpha right it is rotated and it is also translated by the factor mod of beta right through a distance of mod of beta so for the transformation w equal to alpha z plus beta the conclusions are Rectangle in z-plane is magnified by the factor mod alpha, that is, mod of 
1 plus iota according to the given transformation. Mm -hmm. And what is mod of 1 plus iota? It is 1 square plus 1 square under the root and this is equal to root of 2. Which means the rectangular region is magnified by the factor root 2. So you have noticed here that is it is little magnified. So the magnified factor is root 2. And then it is rotated through an angle argument alpha that is equal to argument alpha is 1 plus iota. And how to calculate the argument of 1 plus iota that is equal to tan inverse y over x. So y is 1, x is 1. So this is tan inverse 1 that is equal to pi by 4. So it is rotated through an angle of 45 degrees and then finally it is translated in the direction beta is equal to 2 minus iota through a distance mod of beta so mod of beta that is mod of 2 minus iota that is equal to 2 square plus 1 square under the root that is equal to 4 plus 1 that is square root of 5 so it is translated in the direction of beta through the distance square root of 5. Which means here in the z-plane the origin is O and then in the w-plane this origin is shifted to or translated to O dash. So the points A, B, C are transformed into the points A dash, B dash, C dash and the origin in the z-plane is transformed into the point O dash that is 2 negative 1 this point right okay thank you god bless